This is Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley with an important update on Hurricane Ian. Currently, the state of Florida and Flagler County are under a state of emergency as declared by Governor DeSantis and the Flagler County Board of County Commissioners. I urge you to start preparing now for tropical storm or hurricane force conditions in Flagler County that will arrive later this week as Ian approaches Florida from the Gulf of Mexico. Based on the current track, and remember this can change, it appears Flagler County will be impacted more by rain than wind, but there is a small chance we could see hurricane strength winds of category one. We do know that we will get significant rainfall, possibly as much as 12 to 15 inches of rain in some areas. Start getting your supplies now. Don't forget basic things like enough food and water for three days, as well as batteries, flashlights, and a portable weather radio. If you have a generator, make sure you test it before Ian arrives so that it's ready to go. Remember to only run a generator in an open outside area. If you need sandbags to protect your home, you can get up to 10 bags for free at various locations throughout Flagler County. Inmate work crews will assist at some of these locations by filling bags for residents to pick up. Other locations will be staffed by volunteers. Generally, the sandbags will be available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or until the sand runs out. Palm Coast locations will be open till 6 p.m. Flagler Beach's location will open today at 2 p.m. and is only open for residents of Flagler Beach and Beverly Beach. If you do go out to get sandbags, be prepared to fill them on your own if necessary. Shelters may be open by Flagler County for flooding evacuation and possibly for wind, depending on the type of weather expected. This information will be determined by Flagler County Emergency Management. As soon as we have more details, we will let you know. Your Sheriff's Office is ready and prepared to assist you no matter what Mother Nature throws at us. Please continue to follow the Flagler County Sheriff's Office on social media for updates, and we will get through this storm together safely.